with every indication that oil prices are set to go up next week by over 5 shillings, and with the Energy Regulatory Commission caps prices having failed, the Consumer Federation of Kenya has warned that it will, together with worker organizations, mobilize workers to show their displeasure of the government's inability to control the prices at the expense of consumers. I mean, they have to be realistic. If you are going to increase fuel by anything beyond 5 shillings, you can expect that you are going to bring our economy down on its knees. And uh, workers think are not going to take any more. Mutoro argues that yesterday's admission by the energy minister that the formula used to calculate prices by the commission had not met the key objective of the capping was a reason for stakeholders to seek consensus on the way forward. Before you flash out the next numbers, sit down with, it, with the, the Petroleum Institute of East Africa. He said they have developed a comprehensive paper which shows that the price can go down by 10 shillings. He adds that there is no political goodwill by the government to control prices. Uh, regulation is very good, but the problem is why are things not working? So we see a case in which, apart from strategy, which is missing and not shared publicly, the other problem actually has been that uh, we have no political goodwill to support reform in the uh, oil sector. As a lasting measure, Mutoro wants the government to create oil reserves that can cushion fluctuation of oil prices in the international market, as well as facilitate the National Oil Corporation so as to enable it to play a critical role in price stabilization. He was speaking while announcing that the organization has been meeting various supermarkets, hoping that they can form an organization that can help negotiate retail prices with manufacturers. Kamau Mbote for the Business at Nine.